Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Huh? Let's go. Great morning. Great morning. Y'all already know it's your man, Super Bad, the Battle Axe, man. It's about like one something a.m., man. I'm about to get off at 3 a.m. I'm at work for some OTZ, baby. You know what I'm saying? Getting that overtime, man, man. But, you know, we just grateful that we are above ground. You know, the Lord still got us breathing. You know what I'm saying? It's by the Lord's mercies. We're not consumed for his compassion. It's felt nothing new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Hallelujah. But look, man, just want to give you some more exhortation, a.k.a. encouragement in Jesus' name. No matter how many times you stumble, use those blocks and make stepping stones into your purpose, man. No matter how many times you fall short of God's glory, you keep remaining positive. Keep being optimistic. You keep getting up. You keep dusting your shoulders off and keep taking a stand in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior by faith, man. Don't let your sight choke you up in Jesus name. Because just because you fall or stumble does not mean the Lord is through with you or he says I have given up on you or to hell with you no not at all no that's when we truly experience the Lord's faithfulness I love what it says in Psalms chapter 37 where it says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighteth in his way. And though he may fall, he shall not be utterly cast down for the Lord shall uphold him with his hand. For I was young and now I would and now I am old. But I have not seen the righteous forsaken or a seed begging for bread. Hallelujah. So even though we fail, our Lord never will. Don't feed into that spirit of discouragement. Because I know this world, you know, sets us up to lose. But where they messed up at is that Jesus built us to win because he's within us. We're of him, of his perfect likeness and image of his glory. But, you know, we have to seek the Lord in a personal relationship. But this is why we got to have a personal relationship with Jesus because that's where our identity is found. It's not found in people. Why do you think when you try to please people, you feel like you're killing yourself? You feeling like, the life is being sucked out of you. Man, I feel like I'm walking on eggshells, man. Because it's not meant for you to please people, man. It's meant for you to please God. And that don't get me wrong. You know, you need those, like I, like I said in the other video before, that you need those that's going to push you towards God and not away from God. Yes, that's real, for real. You definitely need that. But still at the same time, you got to know how to get into that word too and be asking Jesus for renewal because we all need it, man. Especially when this world is always advertising, you know, fear all the time and doubt all the time and negativity all the time and sin all the time and depression all the time and suicide all the time, man. Like we, like we don't got no hope and we do. We got undying hope in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Though we're ships, though we're ships that drift, the Lord is our anchor to the soul that pulls us back into safety. And it's sad to say, man, that just as it says in Psalm 37 that Though he falls, should not be utterly cast down, but the Lord shall uphold him with his hand. It's sad that the body of Christ want to cast their own brothers and sisters and Christ down more than wanting to uphold them. 
Don't get me wrong. We got to stand for the word. Yes, there is wolves in sheep's clothing. Yeah, we can't marvel at the devil who transformed to an angel of light. Yeah, there's false prophets and false deacons. That's true. Very true. But at the same time, you still got to know that's not everybody. Like if you look at the Apostle Paul, man. I love how in Romans 7, he talked about, he called himself out. Because everybody like to talk about Romans 6, you know, shall, you know, though we're under the, 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 uh, the, 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 the law of grace, should we, you know, uh, sin because we got grace now, God forbid, right? But then in Romans 7, he's talking about the things that I want to do I don't do and the things that I don't want to do I do and then he even called himself a wretched man that it's only Jesus Christ that will save him from himself because in the mind he's serving God but in his flesh he's serving sin Woo! My Proverbs say, who can say my heart is pure? Who can say I am cleansed from sin? And this is why we got to stay humble, man. Because we all fall short. All of us do. And one thing we need to learn is to stop trying to put people on blast just so you can have a platform. That's not of God and that's not what God is calling you to do. Yes, yeah, some things are necessary for sure. But when you're trying to, you know, curse Someone that the Lord is already blessed in favor and anointed. Oh, that's not going to go well, buddy. You know, don't forget, just like at one time you thought, man, God can't use me or God can't anoint me or God can't use me in this in this type of way. And he doing it. So what makes you think he can't do it for the next one? Or that person <laughs> that you shaming? But this is why we got to continue to keep speaking life into one another. Because God has no respect of persons. If he can favor us, he can favor anybody. That wants to seek him and get to know him. But another encouraging message as well. Is Isaiah 35. Because I know the devil likes to use. Fear. False evidence appearing real. And our weaknesses as a defense mechanism. But Isaiah 35 says. Strengthen the weak hands. And confirm the feeble needs. Say to those who are of a fearful heart. Be strong and fear not. For the Lord shall come with a vengeance. Even God with a recompense. And he will save you. So this is why. You can't faint in the midst of adversity. 
This is why you got to keep holding on to Jesus. and You can't let go. Especially when the Lord promised you he would never leave you or forsake you. Because right there in that verse right there, that lets us know right there. The Lord can take us and will take us from weakness to strength. From secular to sacred, from wicked to holy. From guilt to grace, from regret to redemption, from shame to forgiveness, from condemnation to salvation. From ruins to restoration, from brokenness to wholeness. From attack to anointing. From darkness to light. He can even take one who is foolish and make him wise. So know that the Lord will do that for you. Just like he's doing it for me. Just like he's doing it for other brothers and sisters in Christ around here. They ain't did nothing special. Nobody has. It's by God's grace we are saved. We are his handiwork, his workmanship, predestined and ordained that we should walk in it. So just understand in a common world, Jesus Christ, our Lord, can still save you being your savior and giving you uncommon favor. But just know. Too much is given, much is required. But just because you fall short doesn't mean you're fired. Because <laughs> the promises of God never expired. Because the Lord performs everything that he has promised. I know a lot of times we, we, we feel like we're, we're too late. We're not, though, because God is on time. God is timeless. God got the hourglass in his hand. You feel me? He do what he want to do with it. He the controller of time. That's why I love Ecclesiastes 3. Yes, we got to hold ourselves accountable and be responsible for our bad decisions, for our stubbornness. You know... I know a lot of times I be so, you know, mad at myself like, damn, bro, I got to learn stuff always the hard way, dog. Damn. <laughs> you feel me? But even in spite of all that, that bad, ugly, and worse, the Lord can still make something beautiful out of that because God makes everything beautiful in its time. Just because you're here right now doesn't mean you're going to be there a year from now. Heck, even a couple weeks or a month or two from now. Because we can't base nothing off of our timetable, but on God's timetable. And when the Lord comes, it's perfect timing. He's always there when we need him. For Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. So continue to keep your head up, man. Pray up to stay up. I love y'all. Have a great weekend. Shalom, shalom. Peace be unto you.